みわいつみちげさん。今日はコジラジオの日です。皆さん、リスニング、そしてリスニングからいろんな単語を学びましょう。で、実際にテキストでやっぱり単語を学ぶって結構みんな暗記になりがちで、暗記したらなんか、あい。達成したみたいな感じで結局使えないままで終わったりとかするんですよでも実際にこのテキストで載ってる意味とこう使ってる意味っていうのは若干違ったりとかニュアンスの違いとかこういうふうにも使えるのかとかっていろんな発見がやっぱ会話の中ではあるんですよで皆さんがやりたいのはテストの点数を取るためじゃなくて英会話ですよねだったらたくさんの人の英会話を聞いてその中から単語だったりフレーズだったりっていうのを学んでいくとすぐに使えるようになるんですよ使い方も一緒に覚えられるのでこれはお得なんですということでネクステップではたくさんの受講生の方にそういったチャンスを届けたいなということで講師ラジオっていうものをやってます講師ラジオは通常まあ25分とか30分なんですけれどもちょっとね YouTube では最初の10分程度を皆さんと一緒に聞きながらいろんな単語そしてフレーズっていうのを学んでいきたいと思います今日はネクステップ講師の光先生そしてアコ先生実はこのお二人結構長いことネクステップで働いてらっしゃるんですけれども実際にこうやって二人で会話するっていうのは初めてでまあナイスミーチューから始まりこの二人は日本人講師なんですけれどもオールイングリッシュでもちろんお話ししておりますどのように挨拶から流れになっていくのかとか相づちはどのようにしてるのかとかあとはよくたくさんの方が日本語ってこう日本人って相手の話すことが聞き終わるまでずっと黙ってるっていうのが結構日本の言葉の文化なんですけれどもそうじゃなくって英語の文化だとどういうふうに相づちをしていたりどういうふうに話をこう切り込んでいるのかとかっていうふうなこともちょっと注目しながらいろいろ聞いていただきたいなと思います。で前回好評だったなんかリスニングしながらこうポイントポイントで単語を出していたんだけどそれが結構みんな分かりやすかったということで今回もそのようにしておりますで今日のテーマはすごく面白くって2人とも今は日本に住んでるんだけれども幼少期に海外で過ごされた経験がある2人ですいわゆる帰国子女の2人になるんですけれどもこの2人が発音に関してお話をしていますで日本人の方って結構発音でこだわるというかうん私的にはちょっとこだわりすぎないんじゃないかなってたまに思う時があるんですけれどもこの2人英語を聞いていただいたらもう普通にネイティブと同じように話すんですけれどもこの2人の発音っていうのは一体どういうものなのかで2人が思う発音、まあ、世界的に見た発音っていうのはどんなものなのかっていうのをちょっとお話ししてるのでそういうのも締めたらなと思います。はいということで早速いってみましょうネクステップひかり先生あっこ先生のはじめましての気ままトークではお聞きください Go! Wait, this is going、so, to work. Nice to meet you <laughs> with you、yeah, Well nice to talk to you but that sounds like we are going to say goodbye so、um, <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking yeah, about that right <clears throat> Yeah so I so guess nice、you? to meet you Good good Yeah Yeah pretty good today <laughs> Oh, yeah, it is a beautiful day. Yeah, it is.、Um, and it's a bit warmer, I guess. Oh,、uh, no? Wasn't it not in, warm not yesterday? Not in your area. <laughs> I think it was warm yesterday.、Today、oh, really? It's、was、good it weather, but the temperature isn't that high. I think it's like, what, seven degrees? I don't know. Oh,、uh, uh, well, that's、yeah. a little bit chilly, huh? Yeah, so it is a bit chilly. Oh, well. At least、mm. uh, we're, we're in a nice and cozy room, s I guess. <laughs> I know. Wait, wait. Yes, yes, I am.、Yeah. <laughs> so, where do you live? In, oh, in okay.、Japan? I live in Kanagawa Prefecture now.、Uh-huh. It's been about two years. Okay, right. Yeah, like we still have a lot of COVID、um, <laughs> victims.、Uh, victims. But... victims. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's okay, what yes, I see.、Yes. Anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, and what about you? Where do you live? So at the moment, I'm in Osaka.、Ah. So I guess a lot of COVID victims or yeah, <laughs> patients. I don't know what you call them. People and... infected with COVID? Yeah. Cases, COVID cases. Right, right, COVID cases. Oh, yeah. yeah it's a good yeah. word to say. It's a better、um, way to、okay. say it. Rather than COVID victims. It doesn't know, sound it's as bad. Too much. So do、yeah. you actually speak Osaka dialect? No. Oh. None at all.、Not、so,、yet. and then I heard、oh. apparently it's like 
Kansai dialect to say mitcha thank you or mitcha shito ga itai. I was soccer for oh, about、you? one year when I was、oh. in elementary school. Yeah, before I、oh, actually、okay. went to the Philippines. So this is like when I was in grade three right, to right. grade four, I think. But within one year, apparently I picked up、right. Osaka dialect、uh, wow. very well. So my mom's like, <laughs> you became an、uh, Osaka person. <laughs> yeah, I think that tends to happen with kids. Like they pick up languages or dialects really quickly or accents. Oh, yeah, definitely. So I was in, I think I was in Australia when I was, I don't know, five or so. And mm, apparently mm. at the end of our stay, I was speaking like an Aussie. So if I was on the phone, <laughs> they can't really tell.、Uh, yeah, so I had an o x i d a t i o n But、accent. how? See, I always wanted to know like, how, okay, can you, what's the major difference between Australian English and、oh、gosh,、uh, don't do this to New me. Zealand English? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I have to be honest. I don't know. You don't But, know.、Yeah. No, I don't know. But, um, Like, I went to high school in New Zealand,、mm. and my、uh, PE teacher, physical education teacher,、mm-hmm. was originally from Australia. Oh, okay. So, a lot of the students used to tease her for her Aussie accent. Ah,、uh, really? But I, I can't tell the difference. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Well, thank- Because even in Australia, there's like a big difference between like, you know, people from Melbourne to、uh-huh. like Sydney, like、oh, to, really? you know, people from Outback. I mean, you know, I was actually in Melbourne for、yeah. nine years and we,、uh-huh. we consider our in- Australian English to be like much more sophisticated <laughs>、mm. than、right. the,、um, the people inland. I, I know it sounds really snobbish, but. Oh, well. Most people like that anyway. <laughs> Most people are proud of their English, so that's all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, right now, like, do you talk more? I, I can't really tell, like, your accent. Like, you sound like, you know, you're, it's a mixture of, I don't know, like, like I said it online, like, you sound、uh-huh. like、um, someone from New Zealand and Brit- Britain. I don't know. It's, it doesn't、oh, sound American. I guess- No, I, I've never been to America. So oh, oh,、okay. I shouldn't sound American, but <laughs> I'm saying that. So I think my English is kind of towards New Zealand accent.、Mm-hmm. And New Zealand English has a big influence from、uh, British English. Of course, of course. Yeah. yeah. So that's maybe where that British sort of accent comes in, but not as much.、Yeah. I know、yeah. there's a few, like, say, when I say can't, cannot, I say can't. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> that's, that's New Zealand.、Um, but it's very,、um, it's a lot easier to tell between can't and can. Because you say can't and can. Can't and can't. <laughs> I, I can't go, you can't say, you don't say I can't go to, today or tomorrow. You say I can't go. So you can't <laughs> mistake it for I can go. Fair enough. Easier, right? Yeah, it's much easier for sure. Yeah, yeah. So、yeah. I think it's more American. I mean, sorry, more New Zealand. But when I was in Japan before going to New Zealand, yeah I had private lessons with an American teacher. oh And、okay. he told me that my vowel sounds are wrong. So、What? he <laughs> corrected them、uh-huh. and made them become American vowel sounds. Americanized. <laughs> yeah. So that's where my English is really mixed.、Uh, like some people that say、sense. that I have a little bit of American accent. And、mm. I told them, actually, I've never ever been never to America. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I have a little bit of that.、Mm. Fair enough. Yeah.、Mm, interesting.、Mm. Well, so what would you say your English is like? <laughs> Well, well, this、Aussie? is something that we were going to ask the students, right? How、oh, yeah. we sound like. But I see, like I told you before, that、I've, the first country I lived was actually the Philippines. And I went、oh, to Japanese school until、oh. grade six. 
Okay. And then like from middle school onwards, I went to an international school there, which is like, I think it, it was actually run by American people. So it's kind yeah. of American school. Awesome. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then, so like I first learned English from mainly American teachers there. And then like okay. the Filipinos and Filipinas who are right, right. You know, highly educated in, uh, I guess, American education systems or whatever. Uh-huh. So that's my base. Mm-hmm. And then um I did my university degrees in Australia. So uh-huh. that's where I started picking up Aussie accent. Uh-huh. <laughs> then after that I actually went I lived in the States for a while. So mm-hmm. like it all got mixed up and then yeah. people started wondering, you know, where are you actually <laughs> from? And I'm like, I know where I'm really from. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So difficult. That's, that's me. But um, yeah. the other thing um, um, is that I lived in Singapore for a little oh, while. Oh, yes. You did say that. Because my father's job. <laughs> uh-huh. And I guess maybe this is a good time to uh, introduce my mother's experience. Yes. I just hope that yeah. um, not many people get offended. We'll try to make sure it's going to wrap in the, in the right way. It's, but it's anyway, a funny uh, story. <laughs> Yeah. So after the Philippines, like uh, my father was uh, asked to move to Singapore. So we went Mm -hmm. there Mm -hmm. and then like we were so used to the, you know, Filipino English. So we're like, Mm -hmm. yeah, in Singapore, like we can communicate in English too. So it's going to be a lot of fun and all that. And then Uh I think there was um, like a phone call from like a grocery store or something. Grocery store. My mother. Yeah. And then. はい。ということで、皆さん、いかがでしたかいろんなね、発音についての2人のね、これはまあ意見になるので、もちろんたくさんの意見があるので、この2人の意見が全てではないですよ。なので、皆さんはどんな意見を持っているのかなとかっていうのは、またこの後ディスカッションしたりとか、ちょっとしてみるのもいいかもしれませんね。で、私が思うね、まあ発音って、にこだわる気持ちもすごくわかるんだけれども、やっぱりいろんな国の発音があって、それが、うーんどれが正しいとかじゃなくてどれも正しくって伝わるように要は話していくっていうことが大切なのであまりね皆さんこうオブゼッシブにならずにね英会話を楽しんでいただきたいなと思いますはいこちらねネクステップのチャットメイト受講者の皆さんはもうすべて全編聞けるようにあのアップロードしておりますのでまたいつでもお聞きくださいはいということでたくさんねやっぱ会話から学べることって多いと思うんですよなのでまた木曜日頑張ってリスニング力そして単語力会話表現力っていうのも一緒にまた学んでいきましょう Alright that's all for today so thanks for watching この動画が皆さんの英語学習のお役に立ったっていう方はぜひグッドボタン高評価教えてくださいそしてコメントもお待ちしておりますそれでは I'll see you next time バイバイ